Hey guys, happy Halloween. Hopefully I've managed to post this on Halloween. That's my plan at least. Um, Halloween marks obviously the end of October and it is November just a day away and it almost is the end of the year and it almost is Charlotte's first birthday and it's almost Christmas and it's almost all of those things. Uh, and it's just, we're rolling into my favorite time of year now and I'm just so excited for the holidays this year. So, so special with our little one now to have to share our celebrations and our festivities with and our festiveness. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and we're having fun with Halloween too. We had a little family party last weekend with the cousins and stuff and um, we're not trick-or-treating. I think I'm probably gonna take Charlotte out and about with my parents are coming over and we're just gonna kind of parade around because her and Winnie have matching dragon costumes. That's so cute. If I can think of it, I'll insert a picture. So, so cute. It's hard to take pictures of dragons, by the way. True fact. Anyway, I am back today with my lifestyle favorites. So I'm gonna share everything from clothes and accessories, to some beauty things I'm loving, um, home goods, multimedia, and of course, you guys know I always talk about food. And I am gonna consult my list because the old brain. First of all, clothing. I love this. I love this. Now what is this exactly called? This is the Patagonia Retool Snap Tee Fleece Pullover. So it's just one of these doohickeys that you just pop on over. It's a cuddly fleece pullover. It is my favorite thing. Every time I wear this, I feel like I'm being hugged by the softest teddy bear you've ever hugged in your life. It, I can't describe it. It's not a normal fleece. It's like got sort of a, a waffle weave to it which makes it even more plush. Um, so I actually bought this last year when I was pregnant, so I bought it pretty big. I bought it in a large. It is enormous, but it is just so cozy. And I've been wearing, it finally got cooled off here in the uh, Midwest, uh, and I've been wearing it for morning walks with Winnie and Charlotte. Every time I pop out for errands and appointments with Charlotte, I pop it on. This color is great, it goes with everything. Now, this color is not exactly the color it once was because I unfortunately washed it with a shirt, a dark shirt that um, bled, like the shirt, the dye in the shirt bled. I didn't know it would do that. I didn't even know the dark shirt was in that load. It kind of snuck in there. Um, so it's a little dingy looking, but I don't care because I love it so much. It's got makeup all over it. It's just, it's truly loved and it's so cush and plush and fuzzy and awesome. And I love, love, love it. Um, and I know they come in a variety of colors. I bought mine at REI. Um, like I said, it was last year, but I actually looked online to figure out what it was called and I saw they still carried it and I, Love it and highly recommend it if you're in the market for like a pullover, easy to wear, cozy sweater like that. It's not a sweater, but you know, it's like a jacket, sweatshirt. I'm not sure. What, there's no zipper, so it's like, is it a jacket? I don't know. Um, so that's for clothes. For accessories, I have been wanting an iPhone Plus ever since I bought Don one. When did I buy Don? I bought Don the iPhone 6 Plus as a gift for some holiday, whenever that came out, a couple years ago. And I have had iPhone Plus Envy ever since. And I, I don't have big hands. I, you know, I have like normal size hands for a person of my size. I'm like 5'4". I'm not a, you know, really big, tall person. Um, but um, I just knew that I would love the iPhone Plus. But I wanted to wait until a new generation came out. So when the iPhone 7 Plus came out, I was like, yes. I'm getting you, and I did. I got it right away, I got it shipped on, you know, it came to me the day that it released in stores, and it's the gold one, um, and I have this beautiful Sonics case on it. I love the Sonics phone cases, that's another kind of all-time favorite. Um, this one I thought was kind of um, good for fall, because it kind of reminded me of mums a little bit, it's so pretty. But uh, I love these cases. They've made the phones a lot more, um, Kind of tough, they've toughened them up a bit. They're, they're a little less prone to shattering, I think. And the great thing about it now is that they're waterproof, which is great because I had only had the phone for a week and I dropped it in the toilet. It was a clean toilet, thank goodness. But I was like, oh my gosh. But I pulled it right out and it was fine. And I was like, oh yeah, water resistant phone. Um, but I have been obsessed with this. Um, whose video was I watching where they're like, nobody te te texts with one with one hand or types with one hand on their phone. I do. I don't know if any other nursing mamas out there or even not nursing, just some 
just a mother of a baby. Um, you know, you know, you use your phone one-handed all the time. And I, even with my like, you know, average size hands for a like shorter person, can type with one thumb with with the iPhone Plus. So I don't think it's too big, even for you know, kind of smaller to medium sized hands. I don't, I don't know what size hands I have. I think they're not like big, they're not small, they're just they're, they're just the right size for my frame. But, um, oh, it was pretty shiny sparkly. She was saying how she would never text with one. I watched her review of the phone. That's what it was. I watched her review of, I think it was this phone. Um, but I, and when she said that, I was like, uh-uh, girl, just wait. If you're gonna have kids one day, just wait. You'll be using your phone with one hand. <laughs> But anyway, um, I love her channel. She's great. You should go check her out. I will, um, it's Christina. I will put a link to her uh, channel below. Anyway, she did a great review of the iPhone if you want more information about it. Love it. It's my absolute, like, hands down favorite accessory ever. It, I, like, live with my phone. I think that's, like, everybody nowadays. I don't know if it's, like, the best thing ever, but it's a thing, and it's what we're all doing, so we go with it. Okay, for beauty. I love this palette. This is the Miss Fabulous 12 piece eyeshadow palette um, from Ulta. It's a cl in collaboration with Jenny Fox. You might know her from the old days as Miss Jen Fabulous here on YouTube. She's one of my favorite beauty YouTubers to watch, especially for nail tips and tricks. She taught me how to put nail polish on without painting my whole finger by watching her like how to apply nail polish video. Uh, that was like from way long ago, um, but yeah. I still am not the best nail polish painter, but her tricks and suggestions helped me figure it out, um, for sure. So, but I mean, I like all of her videos, but I know she's known for her nail stuff, um, and her nail art is incredible. But she came out with this palette this summer, and she was so sweet and sent me, sent me one of these as a gift, and actually a really cute outfit of Charlotte. I just put up a picture just a couple days ago of Charlotte wearing the outfit um, from her 10 month little photo I take every month of her sitting in the nursing chair with the blocks. I'll pop in the photo in case you missed it. Super cute, thank you so much Jenny, that was so sweet and thoughtful of you, but I already had my eyes on this palette. I had already bought this palette, but I hadn't opened it yet, so I actually um, gave that to a friend and I have been using the one that Jenny sent me and I have, every time I've been wearing full eyeshadow looks, I've been using this. These are my colors, like all year round. It's a definitely a warm toned palette. It's got nice uh, kind of, you know, a warm browns, a couple of kind of more, I don't know, deep berry brown, um, just a really beautiful warm tone palette. I don't really, I'm not really good at describing things, but it's just gorgeous. I think the brush that it comes with is really, really nice. I normally don't like the brushes that these kind of palettes come with, and this is actually a really nice one. And it's a really good deal. I believe retail it's 20, 20 or $22. I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but it's gorgeous. And I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing very little eyeshadow today, but I just have tiniest bit of this. What I like about this palette is it's really up my alley, not in, only in terms of the colors, because this is like my jam with eyeshadow tones, but it's buildable. So it's not like so pigmented that I have to be like so careful, uh, you know, to put just a tiny bit on. It's not like not pigmented. A nice amount goes on the eye when you do it, but it's very soft and you can build it and build it as you want. And that to me is the best. And it has great lasting power. I don't find it falling out. I think it's a really good deal. And I'm just so, so happy for and proud of Jenny for doing this collaboration. I think this is a really nice palette and I highly recommend it. I think it's really affordable, would make a great stocking stuffer. FYI, I am scrambling to get my um, holiday gift guide together for you guys as soon as possible. I promise I will have those videos up. I'm gonna do the three. I usually do the um, extravagant splurges, little luxuries, and the stocking stuffers. Um, I'm gonna try to get those all up in the month of November, hopefully before Black Friday. So I'm doing my best, um, but I apologize if they're a little bit later than that, but I'm gonna do my best to get them all up before the end of the month for sure. Anyway, love that, like I said, would make a great stocking stuffer. Um, so yeah, that's my beauty favorite for sure. I've been loving that. For home goods, this is not a new favorite. I've talked about the Mrs. Myers Clean Day um, dish soap and multi-surface everyday cleaner before, but I have not talked about the apple cider scent, which is limited edition for fall this year. Have they had this in previous years? If they have, 
have I been living under a rock? Because I love this. I bought this on a whim at Target. I was like, oh look, it was on sale. It was, what was it? It was like buy three, get one free or something. This was a while ago. This was earlier in the month. And so I bought my regular one, the lemon verbena, and then a couple of these. Cause it's like, okay, why not try it? Well, I fell in love and I went back to Target. The next time I was at back at Target, I cleared them out of their stock and I actually ordered some online because I just loved it and I noticed they weren't restocking it. Like they had sold out at my Target. Um, and I know it's limited edition and it's gonna go out. So I have like 10 of these under my sink. I don't normally have that much dish soap in the backup reserve. I usually have like two or three bottles of dish soap in backup reserve, but I have enough of this. Hopefully it'll last through the, well, it's definitely the last through the holidays. So um, I'm really excited about this. I love the counter spray too. Um, it just smells, it really is a dead on apple cider scent and it, it is just so nice. And it is just one of those little things that I actually am the kind of person who really likes doing dishes. I find it very like calming and centering, but this just adds this little extra touch of happiness for me when I'm cleaning the kitchen and doing the dishes and stuff. It just makes me so happy. So if they have that at your local Target, I don't know where else they sell Mrs. Myers. I know they do at Whole Foods, but I've never seen the limited edition scents at my local Whole Foods. If you see this and you like apple cider scent, I highly recommend picking it up and giving it a try. It's just, just what I, just my two cents. Okay, for multimedia, I have been listening to Drake's new album. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I actually really like Drake. He's a rap artist. You wouldn't think of me as a lover of rap and normally I don't you know I don't like find myself drawn to a lot of rap music I don't dislike it but it's not like I like oh I need to go out and look for some new rap music today you know it's just I don't know everybody has their own jam I like a wide variety of music but I have loved Drake's music since he dropped his first album what was that like six years ago or something I don't even know now um, I don't know what it is. It's something about the tones he uses and the beats he uses. Just, I find so, almost, um, like very soothing, almost kind of meditative. It just makes me, it kind of like puts me in a very focused state. And especially in the fall, I find like I have so many ideas and so much energy and I'm kind of all over the place and my brain's kind of going, oh, I need to do this and organize that and blah, blah, blah. And I just like, I need a little bit of centering sometimes. Um, and I've actually, um, been listening to that when I've been working out. I've been doing the PIT 28 program. I finished my third round of it just a couple of weeks ago, right before um, I injured my toe in a way that I, I've had to take a couple of weeks off of um, exercise altogether. But I'm hoping to get back into the PIT next week um, once I can get shoes on again. I've been having to wear my Birkenstocks in the cold weather with socks because I can't get a closed toed shoe on. I look like such a nerd, but it's all right. You got to do what you got to do. Anyway, I find I just, it works really well for me as a workout music because it's not actually like pump you up motivating, but it's very focusing. Um, and the PIT 28 program is, it's Pilates based high intensive interval training. I'll put a link below if you guys want to check it out. I talked about it before in a different favorites video at length, um, but I do enjoy it. It's a great quick workout. It really packs a punch. But anyway, back to the actual favorite, his album, for somehow he drops music, drops music, what am I, what? He puts out music that sounds very, very much like things he's already done, but totally different at the same time. And I know I've said this about other artists too, and I find that that's kind of like the best of both, both worlds, because you want something new from your favorite artist, but you don't want it to sound so, so different that it doesn't sound like them. Um, so it's a fine line, I think, and he walks that line really well between pushing into new stuff, but kind of holding on to his old um, vibe, if you will. Uh, so yeah, I've been liking that album. Um, I know it's not for everybody. Um, the lyrics can get a little like, <laughs> I try not to listen too closely to the lyrics, but it just, if you just listen to the tones and the melody and the beat, and it's just, I don't know what it is about it. I just find it soothing. Um, and it's good workout music because they're good beats. For me, I don't need like pump you up music. I need focusing music because um, it's like I'm really focused for the like 20, 30 minutes I'm working out whenever I can grab some time during the day. Um, anyway, there's that. Uh, let me look at my list. Oh yeah, PLL. I'm caught up through the last season of PLL. So not the current season. I think now is season seven, which is the final season, I believe. I finally caught up through season six. Don was watching it with me for a while, but he finally was just like, Nah, I 
don't really wanna watch this. And I was like, okay, babe. I think he was just watching it all those years to, you know, to watch something with me. I mean, but we could have watched something else, but he's cute, he just, I don't know, whatever. I was like, you don't have to watch this. But there's been so much baseball on lately with the World Series and all the playoffs and stuff leading up to that that I've had more time to watch things solo um, because I do not like baseball. I'm sorry, I don't, I just, I, I don't like watching baseball, so. I'm like super excited for the Cubs, like awesome. I'm excited for my, the men in my family are like pumped, but they've been getting together to watch all the games. So I've had, you know, whatever. Anyway, I've caught up on PLL and OMG. It is such a frivolous, silly show, but I just love it. I don't, it's just like a guilty pleasure. It's almost like reading like People Magazine or something. It's like, you know, it's like a kind of a waste of time, but it just feels so good. Um, so <laughs> I've been enjoying that. And it's just ridiculous. The plot lines, how they keep this, this is like totally off the books. Like it's supposed to be based on these books. It totally railed off of the books like years and seasons ago. Right? But it's just, I don't know how they keep coming up with new twists and turns and I'm like, I, you know, I like get really invested. And I just think every October, I think I gotta catch up on the last year of PLL now. And I do because October is Halloween month and for some reason I feel like it's a little bit spooky and it just kind of goes with the vibe. I do have another Etsy slash YouTube shop um, favorite that's planner sticker related. I realized I talked about this last month when I mentioned Firefly Paper Shop, which is Allison Anderson's new um, planner sticker shop. Still love that. Can't wait to see what holiday sticker she comes out with. But I couldn't not share this this month because even though it's, you know, I feel like it's a little bit redundant, I'm talking about something I talked about last month. I have been obsessed with the Stick With Me sticker shop YouTube channel. Her plan with me, she's only been on YouTube I think for about six months, but her plan with me videos are the best I have watched and I have fallen down the rabbit hole with planner stickers. Like, I feel like I've been kind of towing the line for the last couple of years, but I have just, I have just like fallen head first down the rabbit hole and I'm just having so much fun ordering things and I don't know if you guys want to see a haul. Like I went a little nutto on Etsy and bought a bunch of stickers. Um, and they're taking a long time to come because most of them are from Canada actually. Um, but I don't know if you guys want to see, like I don't want to put up a, I'd love to share a haul, but I don't know if that's like really interesting to a lot of people. So let me know if you guys want to see the sticker haul. I'm not sure. I might like put a poll on Facebook or whatever and see if it's something you guys want to see or not, or I could just, you know, I can make the video unlisted and just like link it on Facebook so you don't have to see it in your subscription feed if you don't want to. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because I know some people get kind of annoyed with the planner stuff. So I don't know what to do about that because I'm getting more and more into it and I want to share some things. I want to share more plan with me's and hauls and things, but I don't want this channel to become overwhelmed with that. So I don't know. Let me know what you think if you guys have any ideas for that. Uh, but anyway, she, so Jenny is the name of the young lady who runs this shop. She makes hand-drawn, kind of kawaii style stickers. Tofu the Panda is like her icon, her iconic little guy. I ordered some, they're supposed to come any day. I'm so excited. Um, but her YouTube channel, her Plan With Me videos, I have watched maybe like a half a dozen different people's planner videos now and hers are absolutely my favorite. I can't get enough of them. First of all, the way she talks is very soothing and very comforting. Um, and also it's just beautiful and like so neat and organized, but cute and artistic at the same time. And I just, I will link her stuff below. You gotta go check her out. Just so much fun. I know that she is a teacher. She works full time as a teacher, so it's a little hard for her to um, keep her shop open full time. So I know her releases go pretty fast when she open, reopens her shop. Like I think about once a week or so, you gotta like be on there right away. You can follow her on Instagram if you're interested, but I just had to mention it. Um, I apologize if it's like too much planner sticker stuff for some of you, but I just, I just loved it and I had to mention, I had to mention her things. Okay, and last but not least for tasty treats, this is probably not gonna come as a surprise, but the three ingredient pumpkin chocolate chip muffins are back. I'm gonna pop in a little clip that I took of the muffins because I didn't wanna bring them upstairs. Um, this is a recipe I found on Mix and Match Mama. I think last year was the first year I made them. I made them so many times. I made them for my family. I made them as goodie bags for my Thanksgiving guests. I made, I made them so much. 
And when this fall ran, uh, rolled around, I was like, I know I'm gonna make them again. And they're so easy. It's just like a can of pumpkin, spice cake mix, and chocolate chips, and that's it. Well, so many of you have been com leaving comments or tweeting me or whatever, telling me to use cinnamon chips instead of the chocolate chips. And I've been thinking lately, like, this is a really good muffin, but it's really more cake than muffin because there's so much chocolate in it. So what I did is I took your advice and I, and I, instead of doing a cup of chocolate chips, which is what the recipe calls for, I did half a cup of mini chocolate chips and half a cup of cinnamon chips. Um, and they are much more muffiny, like less chocolatey. They're so good that way. And they are so delicious with another favorite, the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Spice Roybus Herbal Blend Tea. This only comes out once a year uh, and it is so good. I actually managed to buy this, I think last winter, um, they had some left over at my local Trader Joe's, but then they sold out and I was like so sad and it came back and I was just able to get my hands on it recently actually. Um, and oh, I love this tea, it is so yummy you guys. And this tea, cup of this tea with one of those muffins, I do recommend putting them in the microwave for 20 seconds because they get all nice and warm and gooey and just the kind of the spicy part kind of opens up and it's just such a nice treat together um so those are my those are my absolutely favorite tasty treats right now um and i will put a link below to that recipe if you guys want to um from the mix and match mama blog if you guys want to make them because like i said super easy so fast and delicious um, so it's been a while since I've done a giveaway. I realized I kind of dropped the ball on that with my favorites. So I've actually bought a couple of these palettes to give away. The Miss Fabulous palette by Jenny Fox and Ulta. Um, so I have two brand new ones of these. It'll be one of my standard giveaways. It'll open internationally. If you're under the age of 18, it just asks that you have parental permission to enter. It'll run for one week. You can enter on my blog post, which I'll link below pretty simple to enter and I will email the winners directly as always um, so anyway those are my favorites for October I hope you guys had a wonderful month and a, having a happy and safe Halloween and are uh, looking forward to the holiday season which is upon us all right you guys thanks so much for watching take care Bye.